And welcome back to North of the Broad. Did you know that C.T. Lowndes & Company Insurance is the oldest insurance company in South Carolina? Well, it is. And with us now is Erin Witt, and she is an agent with this company. Good to have you with us. Thank it's you actually so much. a family-owned business company in based out of Charleston. Yes. So tell us a little bit about the company. Yeah. So C.T. Lowndes um, was founded in 1850 by the Lowndes family in Charleston. And since its inception, they've opened eight different locations up and down the coast of South Carolina. Um, and so we specialize in coastal insurance and take pride yes. in what we do. And right. um, we really value ourselves on the relationships we build with clients and also being knowledgeable about the products that we sell. Very good. So, of course, we're in hurricane season. Yes. So let's kind of start with ABCs. What, should, what kind of insurance do we need to have to be protected? So ABCs of insurance, especially where we are at here specifically, what you're going to look for in your homeowner's policy is making sure that you have wind and hail coverage. Um, usually you're going to have a separate deductible for that. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be designated on your policy, um, but you want to make sure obviously that you've got your home insured for replacement cost coverage. Right. That is different than market value. Um, sometimes you'll pay a price for a home, but when we calculate what that would cost to rebuild it from the ground up, that may Much look more right. Could be different than yeah. what you've paid for it. It could be lower. It, right now, what we're seeing is a lot of times it's a lot higher to right. rebuild homes, mm -hmm. um, really due to labor costs. But right. that's what we're looking at. And then also, what about the inside of, of the house? You know, all of your furniture and all that is that all part of the homeowners? That is part too? of the homeowners. It's going to be designated under your personal property I coverage. See. Okay. Yep. So if you imagine your home and you imagine it as a dollhouse, if mm -hmm. you were to open the windows, open the doors and shake it out, whatever is gonna fall out of your home is your personal property. Okay. And anything that's attached to the home is part of your dwelling. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good analogy. Mm -hmm. Very good, all yes. right. So what should we do to prepare for, for hurricane? And, and, and yeah, what, what should we be doing? <laughs> okay. It can totally seem overwhelming at it first. Is. Um, it can be very daunting because if we do have a storm coming in, it usually comes in very quickly. We maybe get a couple days notice, um, but there are some things that we can do ahead of time to prepare for okay. hurricane season. Um, first thing I would do is go through your home, take an inventory of everything that you've got in your house. Mm -hmm. Technology is our, our friend here. Mm -hmm. So open up your phone, take a video, mm -hmm. go right. room by room, open up your closets, open up your cabinets and just Take an inventory of everything you've got in the house. Mm -hmm. um, another thing you can do is make sure you have like a hurricane preparedness kit right. set up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and buy your batteries, buy your flashlights, buy candles. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got pets, make sure you've got food for them, water for them. Go ahead and buy, you know, right. things of water um, and just make sure you have that that set aside because in the event that we do have a storm, you know, everyone's it's, it's just skip, yeah. panic purchasing. Panicking. Yes. So okay. go ahead and get a kit together. Um, now let's say we do have a hurricane and we have yeah. damage. Mm -hmm. And so now, and we file a claim, mm -hmm. obviously. And does that take a long time? And, um, you know, talk about that process. Yep. Yeah. So if we have left because of a, a large storm, we're coming back in, you're assessing the damage to your home. The first thing to be aware of is that on a homeowner's policy, as, as the owner, it is your responsibility to mitigate any damage from it, it escalating. So mm -hmm. say your roof has blown off your house, um, you come back in, tarp the house. Put mm -hmm. a tarp over there, secure it down, make sure that no further damage can take place, document everything, take right. lots of photos. Um, obviously, call your insurance agent, right. make sure you have your policy number, um, and then that claim process can take a while. Um, like how long would you say? And when you say a while, are we talking several months? It can. If we have a large storm right, with and, lots of and lots of damage, right. there are Claims adjusters, they're going to prioritize the most um, mm -hmm. catastrophic losses first, first and work backwards from there. So if you have a tree that just fell on your porch, you can Very still different. live in your house versus someone who the roof is completely off and that home is unlivable. Right. So can take lots of 
can vary. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of good information, Erin. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. For and again, it's me. CT Loans. CT Loans and Company. Very good. All yes. right. And we'll be right back with more of North of the Broad. Don't go away.